Good morning, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series. The week that was college football history review, the 1974 college football season. This is now week 8 of the games that were played on October 26, 1974. Let's get into it. Rutgers beat Air Force by score of 20-3. Taking advantage of two Air Force fumbles, Scarlet Knights grabbed a 10-3 lead and never looked back because fullback Kirk Edwards ran for 147 yards and quarterback Burt Kossa scored two touchdowns to lead Rutgers. Meanwhile, Falcons had tied the score at 3-3 on a 24-yard field goal by Acre kicker Dave Lawson, but could not overcome four interceptions to two by Rutgers safety Ed Jones. Starting Falcons quarterback Ken Vaughn had an awful start, passing one for seven for only zero yards and two interceptions before finding the bench. Now tailback Ken Wood rushed for 87 yards to lead Air Force. Next, we got the Maryland Terrapins who, up, who beat North Carolina State. This is about two top 20 teams, number 15 Maryland versus number 17 North Carolina State. So this is a big game. And Maryland won this game 20 to 10. It took Wolfpack almost two years to lose ACC game. And suddenly they could not stop. In becoming school's all-time rusher, the Terps of Maryland tailback Lewis Carter rambled for 180 yards and fourth quarter game-clinching six-yard touchdown run. Now, Maryland gained 441 yards, while its defense held Wolfpack to 288 yards, far below its 440 yards average. Maryland quarterback Bob Evelini threw for 137 yards and scrambled for 30 yards, scoring a run that put the Terps ahead 7-3 in the second quarter. And it's the state quarterback Dave Bucky threw for 156 yards, but was picked off three times. Game film probably... Inspired Terps camera talk caught NC State laughing at Maryland kicker Steve Mike Mayer after his field goal miss at the end of last year's Wolfpack win. Next, Georgia Tech upset. University of Tulane, the number 18 team in the country, 26 7, after racing out to 5 0. Excuse me, racing out to a 5 0 record and number 18 ranking against social competition. Tulane had still had lots to prove. Even though they jumped to a 3 7 3 lead on touchdown by running back Steve Shooting, Green Way failed to swamp Atlanta, gaining only 88 yards, 186 yards total offense against Yellow Jackets while losing quarterback Steve Foley to the fractured right fibula. Quarterback Rudy Allen was forced out of game with diabetes complications but led Georgia Tech on three scoring drives with one ending with Allen's two-yard keeper for 10-7 lead. Next, backup quarterback Danny Myers twice led fourth-quarter touchdown drives as Tech pulled away. Tulane had enjoyed brief 7-3 lead. Next, the Wolfpack, excuse me, uh, Vanderbilt beat Mississippi by a score of 24-14. Next, Notre Dame, the number seven team in the country, beat Miami 38-7. Irish route was on early as wide receiver Pete DeMero caught a 47-yard pass from quarterback Tom Clements for touchdown less than three minutes into the first quarter. Clements threw another scoring pass in the first half and ran for score, while safety Randy Harrison returned inception 44 yards for another touchdown. Notre Dame first team was scored 38 points in the first half before retiring to bench to spectate in second half. Next, Hurricanes defense allowed 423 yards and could no, host no turnovers while managing solo touchdown, two-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Frank Glover to tight end Phil August in third quarter. Next, Iowa beat Illinois by a score of 14 to 12. The Hawkeyes have back Eddie Donovan's last second eight-yard scoring exception, stunned overachieving Illini over the final line of Illinois. As Iowa quarterback Rob Fick led his offense deep into Illinois territory twice in fourth quarter, only to be denied, but he made last 49 yard trip, worked with screen pass to Donovan, and Donovan skipped past tackling to joyfully reach end zone. Illinois had scored 12 straight points as kicker Don Beaver kicked two field goals, including 50 yard event effort in second quarter, and quarterback Jeff Hollenbach threw 19 yard. Ninth touchdown pass to tight end Joe Smallzer. Next, Miami of Ohio 
beat Toledo. 38-22. Now, Maivo Ohio was ranked number 19 in the country. So, Redskins extended unbeaten streak to 19 games with win that cleared weight to the MAC title. Fullback Bob Carpenter counted for 181 yards rushing, three touchdowns against defense focused on uh, quarterback Sherman Smith and tailback Randy Walker. Still, Smith threw touch, two touchdowns, including 37 yard effort to Carpenter that tied the game at 7 7 in the first quarter. The game was tied at 14 14 at halftime before Miami blew it open with 21 point barrage in the fourth quarter. And Toledo quarterback Gene Swick ran for two touchdowns, threw 12 yard touchdown to touch, touchdown pass to tight end Don Seymour. Next, Texas AM, the number 18 in the country, beat Beller 20 to nothing. In this key Southwest Conference matchup was won easily by the Aggies as their defense was awesome, preventing Bailey ever from crossing Texas A&M's 40-yard line and adding interception touchdown on amazingly nibble play by defensive tackle Warren Tarahan. Texas A&M rushed for 310 yards but needed only odd play to score its only offensive touchdown as wide receiver Carl Roaches scooped up fumble on one bounce and ran 56 yards with the fumble that dropped by Aggies halfback Bubba Bean. AM kicker Randy Haddix added two field goals and leaping Tyrahan fell into end zone with an interception caught on one yard line for Tony touchdown. Bears managed only just four first downs on 149 yards with four turnovers. Halfback Steve Beard rushed for 71 yards to pace Bell. Next, Nebraska, the number nine team in the country, beat Oklahoma State. 7-3. Trailing 7-3 in the fourth quarter, Cowboys of Oklahoma State marched seven yard, 70 yards to the Nebraska one-yard line. But quarterback Charlie Weatherby lost fumble recovered by cornerback cornerback Ardell Johnson with 3.22 left. The Huskers were pinned deep and forced to punt, but the Cowboys failed to move. The final try ended with Nebraska cornerback Jim Burroughs' interception. All scoring occurred in third quarter as Nebraska went 79 yards to high back Tony Davis' four-yard run. Quarterback David Hum kept drive alive with 30 yard pass to block wingback Rich Bay, while Oklahoma State kicker Abby Daigle booted a 32 yard field goal. Next to Brigham Young, Cougars beat Arizona, upset Arizona rather, number 16 team in the country, 37 13. The match number was five in the area war that shook up wet, whacked. BYU senior quarterback Gary Shady Shady tossed five touchdown passes. A defense turned in five interceptions for Cougars. A shoddy turned to wide receiver John Betham, only other senior in starting lineup in absence of injured wide receiver Jay Miller. Combination sparkle. The Betham caught 10 passes for 144 yards and three touchdowns. After teams exchanged opening scoring drives for 77 times, interceptions on consecutive, consecutive Arizona drives were converted into tailback Jeff Black's links. Touchdown over catch for a commanding 21-7 lead in the first quarter. Uh, Arizona cornerback quarterback Bruce Hill threw for 200 yards. He hit only 9 for 29 with five interceptions. Wildcats fullback Jim Upchurch rushed for 106 yards. So that's it for that. So we're going to move into the next um, next game, the last game. And that was Washington. who shut out and blew out the University of Oregon 66 to nothing. All right, in true reversal, the Huskies of Washington wiped out memory of 58 for nothing, beating at hands of Oregon 1973 to end patience, trying 10 game conference losing streak. Now, Huskies of Washington quarterback Dennis Fitzpatrick ran for 105 yards in a touchdown. Northern quarterback Chris Rowland added two running touchdowns, 12 yard scoring pass to wide receiver Scott Phillips before he broke left ankle. The Washington ground game churned up 338 yards as tailback Mike Vicino. Fullback Robin Earl each scored two touchdowns. Now, Huskies defense of Washington also dominated, holding Ducks 55 yards of offense, two first downs, preventing them from crossing midfield until the fourth quarter. So, that concludes look at week number eight. College football history review the 1974 college football season. This is week eight. The games that are played on October 26, 1974. Let's look at the AP poll as of October 28th. We got the number 20 uh, spot, Wisconsin 
And San Diego State was tied for that 20 spot. Temple was number 19 in the country. Number 18 was UCLA. 17 Mississippi State. 16 Miami, Ohio. 15 Miami. Number 14 Arizona State. Number 13 Texas Tech. Number 12 Texas. Number 11 Florida. Number 10 Penn State. Number 9 Nebraska. Number 8 Texas a and Number 7 Notre Dame. Number 6 Southern California. Number 5 Auburn. Number 4 Alabama. Number 3 was Michigan. Number 2 was Oklahoma. And number 1 was Ohio State. So that concludes a look at the moment from the games that were played on October 26, 1974 for week number week number eight. Um, now we're gonna move into November tomorrow and look at the games that were played on week nine of November 2nd, uh, 1974. That'll be week nine. We're done with week eight for today is concerned, and we're gonna move on to week nine tomorrow. So like, subscribe, and comment. On the channel, do Veil the Smack 2 tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.